welcome to my reaction to the third episode of Burn the Witch and the final episode for now. Uh, maybe eventually there will be an anime adaptation. I mean Bleach is coming back and I just uh, saw that uh, this Burn the Witch got a weekly publication in Shonen Jump. I think it's weekly. So it's only been going on for like half a year or something so it's not gonna get an, uh, a TV adaptation yet but yeah. Since it's Titekubo I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we see a TV adaptation, which by any means might be better because if you've listened to my criticism so far, it's really just that, yeah, there's cool action, cool character, but there's not enough exposition and context about the world, so it's a bit hard to care about some of the stuff, and yeah, so as a TV, you know, there would be more time for all that. Anyway, uh, they're fighting, they're gonna fight this guy. Uh, Bon knife, bong knife. He's got a big dragon. Uh, it's probably gonna be a cool fight. Let's just watch episode three. The runtime is 20, 20 minutes and forty two seconds. Let's get into this in three, two. I remember the name. Pretty good animation. I like the, the visual. They've got this weird shading on the uh, background. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks pretty cool. If a lion could speak, we couldn't understand. Captain Odius. That's a mugshot. It's gonna get sad. Not the most offensive uh, skill, but can be pretty useful. It's evolving. Okay. That's pretty cool looking. It's literally a Pokemon, yeah. Yeah. 
Is this meant to be King Kong on top of uh, the Empire State Building? It's rare, I imagine. So based on on a classic tale, fairy tale. Okay. So that's why there was Cinderella visual last episode, or first episode, I don't remember. What's the point of the mask? Obviously this makes me think of the, uh, the mask uh, of the Iron Car and all that. So you can summon Pokemon. What's the inks? Is your gun or something?
this would be a really cool fight. Reminds me very much of one of the Kilo Power from Bleach. That's some visual. Toward uh, Macy, maybe? No? I mean, I'm sure that uh, Macy is definitely going to play a role in, uh, in this since she raised uh, that Pokemon. Are we talking about the dragon or yourself? The comedy is a bit off in this. Oh. Oh, 
sides. So it wasn't a rape whistle. Okay, classic. Of course, the old boss was actually the ultra badass. Remind me of uh, Ue Ara. No. Fuck. In Bleach, the. Uh, whatever. She's actually doing that technique. Seriously. I forgot about this meme. Oh, is she going to join uh, join them? to the guy and his bounty okay I'm not that surprised. He didn't seem like such a bad guy. That's an umbrella. She's pretty hot. I really like the black, uh, the full black uniform. Okay. Maybe there's more to the relationship than I was thinking.
is he meant to reflect uh, the top of that guy? So society, really. And that was broken right away. Is that meant to say that this isn't bleach? As if that wasn't obvious. Oh, and of course, we see the panty. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I don't think I have that much more to say now. I haven't already said, but I guess I'll recap everything. It was entertaining, but it definitely wasn't the greatest thing. The action was fun, the character design was good. Uh, obviously Nini, the blonde girl, is my favorite. I also really liked uh, that dragon, that Cinderella dragon. That was a cool one. Good animation, etc. But that's not surprising. Obviously we can't expect that to be the case if this turned into a TV anime eventually. I think... If there was a big problem with this three VA is that yeah, it was just more action than anything. The small bit of context they tried to give us with exposition, like uh, like uh, the name of the organization, the characters, and and some of the detail about the, the system, it was kind of too random. Like I understand that uh, it's some kind of uh, organization to not hunt dragon, but pr protect dragon or something. And that uh, this seems to be different branch, like uh, Nini and Noel are in this branch and there's this branch with the uh, that other guy that looked like uh, Green Joe. But yeah, I think the big problem is that I had, f I think I had fun watching the fight, but I don't feel like I care much about this world or the character that much, which I think would have been maybe more important to focus on if you want people looking forward to this ever getting more adaptation i don't know it was fun but it's not the best i'd give this three of ea like a seven i'd give a seven it's probably more like a six but uh it didn't bore me so seven is fine um yeah i guess i'm not gonna read the manga um I'll wait for maybe an adaptation eventually and react to that if I'm still there. Um, yeah, manga has been publishing since August 2020, so not even a year yet, so we can still wait like one, two, maybe three years if it's able to get a, a TV adaptation. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm seeing someone saying season two is confirmed. Okay, so a tweet from Weekly Shonen Jump saying Burn the Witch manga will be continuing with a season 2 but it's the manga, not the anime, I think. Okay, it's a, they say season, but it's, it's a, a manga season, I guess. They're gonna be releasing it in a weird way, but it's not a, an anime season yet, but maybe eventually. Or maybe, I guess, what would be cool is obviously if it kept being like uh, some OVA or movie like that, at least we'd be assured some production value. Yeah, Nini was probably my favorite part of this. Really great character design. I wouldn't say she's got that amazing of a personality, um, but I liked her. That's about it, really. Um, we like to see that Tite Kubo is back. What I really thought after, you know, Bleach and Dead, how it ended and everything, is that I wished. Uh, that, you know, he would partner with a good writer. You know, there is a lot of uh, duo writing manga. And obviously we know how good Chite Kubo is at character design, action, and art in general. So I think we, what, what uh, I would have hoped for is that he worked with a writer, you know, and so someone who's competent at writing a story. Um, but I guess he didn't do that. We'll see how this turns out, but I definitely expect some fun fight and cool character design, design and all that, but... I don't really expect any uh, amazing story or anything like that. I mean, 
yeah, we know what happened with Bleach. Anyway, I think that's it. That was entertaining. Looking forward to more eventually. Thanks for watching. See you on something else.